if you want like a range of answers from good to bad nah, and something like that then you can go around and use questions like linear scale multiple choice grid and even tick box grid so to do that you need to go around over here and click on any one of the cards and press the plus button and over here you can see that on the choice you can see linear scale is an option so let's say for example i'm going to say rate our services right here so i'm just going to go around and say rate our services and you can select the scale from 1 to 10 or 1 to 2 just like this and you can label this out as well so i'm just going to go around and say bad and i'm going to go around and say good right here so if I were to do this and then press the preview button, you'll be able to see that you can go around and select out the scale of the service right here and even clear out the selection right here as you can see. And that is how you can get a rating of the scale. You can also go around over here and go add in other type of choice right here. So let's say multiple choice grid over here, uh, which is like um, uh, the four choice, multiple choice itself, but it is on a grid right here as you can see. So you can see, um, what uh, do you wish to bring with you? So I'm just going to go around and say uh, laptop and I'm going to go around and say uh, like let's say for example phone right here and I'm going to go around and say tablet and I'm going to say notebook right here. So once this is done, I'm going to go around over here. You can see this is a multiple grid. You can also add in more options right here. So this is just like multiple choices, but it is on a grid. So if I were to go to preview, you'll be able to see that there's this uh, laptop right here, the tablet, tablet and so forth right here. You can see that on the multiple choice right here, you can go around and add this in. Now, this is not a proper example right here on the uh, laptop itself. You can see that you can go around and uh, you can just uh, say, uh, a rate right here so i'm just going to go around and say rate just like this and i'm going to go around over here and say rate so this is the uh let's say for example on the column i'm going to say uh uh yeah uh, like let's say for example i want to and this is going to be neutral and this is going to be i do not want just like this i'm, I'm just going to go around add in over here as well and i'm going to say no not at all just like this and if i were to go to on to preview you can see that now i want to neutral i don't want and not and all um, and not at all all options are over here and you can also clear out the selection if you want to so another thing that you have is tick box grid so to do that i'm going to go around and click on the plus button and i can go around and select tick box grid right here just like this so now once i do that you can go around and let's say for example i'm going to go around and say uh, level one right here just like this and then i'm going to say level two right here and this is going to be item uh one and this is going to be item two and this is going to be item three and this is going to be item four so if i were to go around onto the preview right here you'll be able to see that now on this one you can select multiple options right here just like this and that is how you can use the tick box grid so that is how you can use a linear scale, multiple choice grid and tick, tick box grid to get multiple answers on one go inside of Google Forms. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.